In this tutorial, we will show you how easy it is to install the first primary module into Symphony I.O. Symphony I.O. usually ships with the first module installed. However, there may be circumstances where you may need to install it yourself. It is absolutely necessary to follow these steps before removing or installing modules. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the 11 screws holding the cover on. The front lip may catch as you're sliding the cover off. Pull gently on the sides and then pull back and up slightly. Remove the two screws holding the center support in place and remove it as shown here. Remove both of the blank panels. Make sure to save these screws as you will need them to secure the I.O. module later. Remove the nine screws shown here. Remove the cable connected to the headphone board by gripping the sides and pulling up. Place the I.O. module and align it so that you can reinstall the nine screws you just removed. Don't tighten them all the way at this time. Install the two screws on the back panel that you removed earlier. Now tighten the nine screws. Replace the headphone board connection cable. If you're installing a second module right away, you will use the standoffs that came with the module instead of the screws. Also, if you're only installing a single module, you will want to replace the blank panel in the second slot. Connect the provided ribbon cable to the primary I.O. port on the main board and the other end of the ribbon cable to the new I.O. module as shown here. Reconnect the center support bar. Slide the cover back into place and secure it with the 11 screws you removed earlier. The six screws on the bottom that are flat should mount flush. The five on the back have rounded heads and will not be flush. Your new I.O. module is now installed and ready to use.